what an amazing God we serve. Hey, welcome to Church on the Beach. We're so glad you're here. I'm so excited. I can feel such a great morning coming up here. And the heavens are declaring the glory of God. A lady walked past and she said, looks like an open heaven today. And I know you're going to enjoy the scenery. So let's continue on with a heart of fire. Yes, we need an open heaven in our life. We know that Jesus made the way. And by grace we can come into the very presence of a holy God. When Jesus hung on the cross, he cried out, It is finished. And the veil of the temple in the holiest of holies was rent from top to bottom. And now through faith in Jesus we can come boldly into the very presence of God and receive his mercy and find grace in the time of need. I just want to go back to that thought of having an open heaven before us and enjoying the presence of God. The Bible says, For in the presence of the Lord there is fullness of joy and at his right hand there are pleasures forevermore. I love that scripture. Another one. The kingdom of God is not what we eat and drink, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Isaiah chapter 12 says, And in that day you will say, O Lord, I will praise you. Though you were angry with me, your anger turned away, and you comfort me. Behold, God, my salvation, I will trust and not be afraid. For Yahweh, the Lord, is my strength and my song. He also has become my salvation. Therefore with joy will you draw water from the wells of salvation. And in that day you will say, Praise the Lord. One of the songs the Israeli people sing during the Feast of Tabernacles. Another song they Sung is found in Isaiah chapter 44, verse 3. For I will pour water on him who is thirsty, and floods on dry ground. I will pour my spirit on your descendants, and my blessings on your offspring. They will spring up among the grass, like willows by the watercourses. Hey, if you're thirsty today, if you're dry inside, you've come to the right place. God wants to pour His Spirit on your life. The only qualification you need to receive the Holy Spirit is that you're thirsty, that you're dry. Remember, Jesus stood on the last day, the great day of the feast. It was the same day the priests would take a golden censer and they would go down to the pool of Siloam. And they'd take that water and they'd pour it on the altar of the Lord. And they would sing those songs like, Therefore with joy we'll draw water out of the wells of salvation. And in that day we will praise the Lord. It was that day, the Feast of Tabernacles, that Jesus appeared at the feast and cried with a loud voice. It was the last day, the final day, the seventh day, People had been eating and drinking. They had been living in booths. There was an open heaven before them. The roof was open so they could see the stars, the moon, the sun. And it was in this context when everybody was full that Jesus said, If you're thirsty, come to me and drink. And from your innermost being, there will flow the rivers of living water. I hope you're thirsty today. If you're dry and thirsty, you've come to the right place. There's an open heaven here. It's like the clouds are parting and the glory of God and the sun is coming up and like the heavens are really opened up. The prophet Joel said in chapter 2 and verse 28, And it shall come to pass, yes it will surely come to pass, I believe, afterwards that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon my 
men servants and on my maid servants I will pour out of my spirit on those days and I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth blood and fire pillars of smoke the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and terrible day of the Lord and it shall come to pass that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved I hope you have a call in your heart and a cry in your heart today and call on the name of the Lord wherever you are. Those that call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. We're going to continue on with this series, Having a Heart of Fire. We pray that God will really bless you.